friends today i'm going to talk you about why matter matters there are three types of matter solid liquid and gas and all these types of matters have changes one matter can turn into the other there are four types of changes in matter freezing melting evaporation and condensation i'm going to show you how they work and how it happens today in this video my first activity is freezing in freezing it is liquid changing into a solid so first i'm going to take this jar of water and pour it into my ice cube tray Now that I'm done with pouring the water, I'm going to keep this ice cube tray full of water in the freezer uh, for 2 hours so it can freeze and turn into a solid. It's been almost 2 hours. I think my ice cubes are ready. Let's check. My ice cubes are ready. I put the water and all my ice cubes freezed to become a solid from a liquid which is water. Do you know sometimes when you eat food you get enough energy to run and play but if you don't eat food you do, you never get energy it's the same for all of these matters too Right now I just show you the process freezing liquid to solid I have my ice here it became a solid because in the liquid there are tiny particles called the molecules The molecules are losing all the all the heat energy from them and they be, and they come together to form a solid. Solids have definite shape and volume. Liquids have only definite volume but no definite shape. Now I'm going to take the ice cubes out of the tray. All my solid formed ice cubes are on the tray now. They are really cold because they lost their heat energy. Solids are really hard and if you need to change their shape, you will need a lot of force to change it. That's why we say that solids have definite shape. My activity 2 called melting a solid into a liquid. Solids have definite shape and volume and liquids do not have a definite shape but a definite volume as we talked earlier. The molecules in a solid are tightly packed. They're always together. Like you and your friends together sometimes. When I put the ice cubes in the bowl, it started gaining heat from its surroundings and the bowl. The space between the molecules in the solid started increasing and increasing and finally became a liquid. My activity number 3 is called evaporation which is liquid to gas. Let's see what's next. This is my activity number 3, evaporation. First, I'm going to take this cup of water and pour it inside the pressure cooker. Now that the pressure cooker is tightly closed, I'm going to turn the fire on. When the water inside the pressure cooker heats up, it starts evaporating, and all that gas from the water will come out from here, and you will see it. Now that the water inside our pressure cooker is really hot, and it starts to evaporate, you can see there is gas. floating around our pressure cooker that is the gas that evaporated from the hot water inside of the pressure cooker did you see that the gas coming from up to the pressure cooker yes that's the steam so the molecules inside the water are not so tightly packed and they don't have so much energy but when they when we heat them they start evaporating and turn into a gas which is water vapor the water vapor has a lot of energy it has no definite shape neither definite volume
This is my activity 4. My last but not least activity, which is condensation. Condensation is gas to liquid. Now let's see what's next. My activity 4 is condensation. First, I'm going to take this cold cap which I kept in the freezer for a few minutes and keep it on top of the same cooker and see. The water from inside the cooker that evaporated gas will come at the top and then touch the cool surface of the cap. The molecules from the liquid turned into a gas and touch the cool surface of the cap. When it, when it touched the cool surface of the cap, it started losing heat energy and, and made water. It formed back into a water again. Condensation is the opposite of evaporation. I hope you like my video on the different changes in states of matter. Freezing, melting, evaporation and condensation. I also hope you understood anything from this video. Thank you.